is looking at you, kid. The 1942 film Casablanca is a romantic drama set during World War II. It stars Humphrey Bogart as Rick Blaine, a 37-year-old American expatriate who runs a nightclub in Casablanca. Ingrid Bergman plays Ilsa Lund, Rick's former lover, who re-enters his life with her husband, Victor Laszlo, played by Paul Honreid. Laszlo is a Czech resistance leader and is a fugitive from the Nazis for his escape from their concentration camp. He and Ilsa hope to secure letters of transit from Casablanca so they may continue their battle against the ruthless Nazi aggression. The film centers on Rick's moral dilemma as he must choose between rekindling his romance with Ilsa or helping her and Victor escape to continue their fight against the Nazis. The film was directed by Michael Curtis, who directed over 100 films. Casablanca was nominated for eight Academy Awards and won three, including Best Director. Notable for its memorable performances, particularly the chemistry between Bogart and Bergman, Casablanca features iconic lines and themes of sacrifice, love, and redemption. The movie's rich narrative evocative score and enduring dialogue have cemented its status as one of the greatest films in cinematic history. The first cast member to pass away was Conrad Veidt, who died only three months after the film's United States release. He played Major Stresser, a ruthless Nazi officer tasked with capturing resistance leader Victor Laszlo. He is the primary antagonist, representing the oppressive forces of Nazi Germany. Known for his expressive acting and versatility, Veit made significant contributions to both German and Hollywood film industries. Leo White played Emil, the waiter at Rick's Café Americain. He brings drinks when Renault greets Ilsa and Victor Laszlo at their table. White was an English actor and director, prominent in the silent film era. Known for his frequent collaborations with Charlie Chaplin, he often appeared in comedic roles. Dooley Wilson was an American actor, singer, and musician best remembered for his iconic role as the piano player Sam. His rendition of As Time Goes By became legendary. Sam Ferrari wants you to work for him at the Blue Paris. Oh, I like it fine, yeah. He'll double what I pay you. Yeah, but I ain't got time to spend the money I make here. Sorry. Wilson's career spanned stage, screen, and television, making him a beloved figure in entertainment history. Sidney Greenstreet plays Signor Ferrari, a shrewd and pragmatic black market dealer. He is always looking for ways to benefit himself. Ah, uh, to get out of Casablanca and go to America. You're a lucky man. Well, by the way, my agreement with Sam has always been that he gets 25% of the profits. That still goes. <laughs> I happen to know he gets 10%, but he's worth 25. Green Street is a British actor known for his imposing figure and distinctive voice. He made a memorable impact in Hollywood with his roles in film noir and crime dramas. S.Z. Sockle, nicknamed Cuddles, played Carl, a waiter at Rick's Cafe, loyal and devoted to his boss, and a member of the Free French Underground. I'll sit down. Have a brandy with us. Oh, thank you very much. I thought you would ask me, so I brought the good brandy. And a third glass. Sockle's long list of movie credits include Christmas in Connecticut, In the Good Old Summer Time, and Lullaby of Broadway. Humphrey Bogart was an iconic American actor, renowned for his roles in classic films such as The Maltese Falcon, To Have and Have Not, and of course, Casablanca. 
Often cast as a tough, cynical character with a hidden heart of gold, he won an Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance in The African Queen, and he was nominated for Best Actor in Casablanca. As cafe owner, Rick Blaine claims to stick his neck out for nobody. The problems of the world are not in my department. I'm a saloon keeper. His actions, however, sometimes indicate otherwise, such as the time when he allowed a young couple to win at his roulette table so they could buy their exit visas. His repressed love for an old flame, however, causes him internal conflict. Paul Panzer played one of the waiters at Rick's place. He appeared in over 300 films throughout his career. Panzer is probably best remembered for his role as the villain in the 1914 serial, The Perils of Pauline, which became one of the most famous cliffhanger serials of the silent era. Hans Heydrich von Twardowski played one of the German officers. He was a German actor known for his roles in silent films and early talkies. He gained fame for his performance as Alan in the 1920 film The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. After emigrating to the United States in the 1930s, von Twardowski continued his acting career, often portraying villains and aristocratic characters. Peter Lorre was a Hungarian-American actor known for his distinctive voice and memorable roles in film noir and horror. He gained international fame for his performance in Fritz Lang's M in 1931 and became a Hollywood staple with roles in classics like The Maltese Falcon, Arsenic and Old Lace, and of course Casablanca in which he played Ugarte, a member of Casablanca's criminal underworld, who earns his living by selling letters of transit to desperate refugees. You despise me, don't you? Hello, I gave you any thought, I probably would. But why? <laughs> oh, you object to the kind of business I do, huh? Ilka Gröning was an Austrian-born actress who fled Nazi persecution in the 1930s and continued her career in Hollywood, often cast in character roles. Gröning appeared in notable films such as Underground and Casablanca, in which she played Carl's immigrating friend. Corina Mura was an American singer and actress known for her memorable performances in films and on stage. She is best remembered for her role as the guitar-playing singer in Casablanca, where she performed Tango de la Rosa and La Marseille. The part of Colonel Heinz was played by Richard Ryan, a Hungarian-born actor who was expelled from Germany by the Nazis prior to World War II. In American cinema, he was mainly cast in Nazi roles, which kept him working during the war years. Claude Rains was an English actor renowned for his distinguished career in film, stage, and television. With his rich voice and commanding presence, Rains became a Hollywood icon, appearing in classics such as The Invisible Man, Here Comes Mr. Jordan, and Lawrence of Arabia. A four-time Academy Award nominee, Rains played Captain Louis Renault in Casablanca, the Prefect of Police. Louis tends to play both sides of the fence in the international conflict, but is a good friend to Rick. Ludwig Stossel was an Austrian-born actor known for his character roles in Hollywood films. Stossel often played roles of European refugees or immigrants, which were reflective of his own background and experiences. In Casablanca, he played Mr. Lutach, one of the refugees who toasts with his wife to the beginning of a new life in America. 
Gerald Oliver Smith was a British actor who appeared in numerous films, often in small or supporting roles during the golden age of Hollywood. While Smith may have not been a leading man, his consistent presence in many classic films made him a recognizable face in Hollywood's supporting cast during his career. Louis V. Arco was a notable actor, best remembered for his contributions to the film industry during the mid-20th century. In Casablanca, he delivered just one line in the whole film. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'll never get out of here. I'm dying, Casablanca. Torben Meyer played a Dutch banker at the cafe table. He was a Danish actor known for his work in both European and American cinema. Over his extensive career, Meyer appeared in a variety of roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. The head waiter at Rick's Place was played by Martin Garalaga, a Spanish-born actor who appeared in numerous American films and television shows. He was known for his roles in westerns and often portrayed characters of Hispanic descent. Helmut Dantine played the role of Jean Brandel, a young refugee who has fled Europe with his wife. Jean is playing roulette, hoping to win enough money to buy their exit visas, but he's losing. Helmut Dantine was an Austrian-born actor who became well-known in American cinema, particularly during the 1940s and 50s. Ingrid Bergman was a renowned Swedish actress who gained international fame for her roles in American and European films. Known for her natural beauty and remarkable talent, she starred in such classic films as Notorious and Gaslight, but she is best remembered for her stellar performance as Ilsa Lund in Casablanca. I can't fight it anymore. I ran away from you once, I can't do it again. I don't know what's right any longer. You have to think for both of us, for all of us. She won three Academy Awards, and in 1999, the American Film Institute recognized Bergman as the fourth greatest female screen legend of classic Hollywood cinema. Gino Carrado was an Italian-born American actor who appeared in over 400 films between 1916 and 1954, including several Three Stooges shorts. He was the only actor to appear in the three leading films of the Golden Age of Hollywood, Gone with the Wind, Citizen Kane, and Casablanca, in which he played a waiter at Rick's Cafe. Marcel Dalio played Emil, the croupier at Rick's. He was a French actor, best known for his roles in classic films such as The Rules of the Game and La Grande Illusion. Dalio's expressive face and versatile acting made him a memorable character. John Quaylen was a Canadian-American character actor who appeared in over 120 films and numerous TV shows. You had five times that you were killed in five different places. Yes, you see, it was true every single time. Quaylen frequently collaborated with director John Ford, featured in classics like The Grapes of Wrath and The Searchers. Norma Varden portrayed the wife of the man who was pickpocketed. She began her career in theater before transitioning to film, where she became known for her portrayals of aristocratic and maternal characters. Some of her notable films include National Velvet and Witness for the Prosecution. Wolfgang Zilzer appeared in Casablanca as the man with expired papers. 
He began his career in the German film industry during the silent film era and transitioned to Hollywood, where he appeared in numerous films, often portraying European characters. The woman selling her diamonds was played by Lottie Palfi Andor, a German-born actress who worked in both European and American cinema. She emigrated to the United States to escape the rise of Nazism in Germany. Known for her versatile acting skills, she appeared in numerous films and television shows. Kurt Bois plays a pickpocket who warns people to be careful, then leaves with their wallets. A German actor with a career spanning over 80 years, he appeared in numerous stage productions and movies, often noted for his comedic talent and distinctive screen presence. Paul Hunreid played Victor Laszlo, a Czech resistance leader and freedom fighter who was sought by the Nazis during World War II. I just sometimes wonder if it's worth all this. I mean, what you're fighting for. We might as well question why we breathe. If we stop breathing, we'll die. If we stop fighting our enemies, the world will die. Now, what of it? I'll be out of its misery. You know how you sound, Monsieur Blaine? Like a man who's trying to convince himself of something he doesn't believe in his heart. Hanried was an Austrian-American actor and film director. He's best known for his roles in classic films such as Now Voyager, opposite Betty Davis, and of course, Casablanca. Dan Seymour portrayed Abdul, the doorman at Rick's Cafe. He appeared in a variety of genres, but is perhaps best remembered for his roles in film noir and adventure films. Some of his notable films include To Have and Have Not, and Key Largo, where he worked alongside Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. The German banker that was refused by Rick was played by Gregory Gay, a Russian-born actor who had a long and varied career in Hollywood. He often portrayed suave, sophisticated characters, frequently playing diplomats, aristocrats, or military officers. Some of his other notable film roles include Dodsworth, and Ninochka. Sasha was played by Russian-American actor Leonid Kinsky. His distinctive looks and strong Russian accent often led to roles as eccentric or comedic characters. He was a cast member in the pilot episode of the TV show Hogan's Heroes. The role of Anina Brandel was played by Joy Page. Page was an American actress whose stepfather was studio head Jack L. Warner. Despite her famous stepfather, Page's career in Hollywood was relatively brief, and she appeared in only a handful of films and television shows. French actress Madeleine Lebeau was the last surviving cast member of Casablanca. She died in 2016 at the age of 92. LeBeau played Yvonne and was celebrated for her emotional performance of La Marseille. Her role in Casablanca remains one of the most enduring images of the film. As time goes by, the magic of Casablanca endures, reminding us that love and sacrifice are timeless. The stars may be gone, but their legacy shines brightly. Their work ensured they will forever be a part of the world they so vividly portrayed, a world where love, courage, and hope triumph. And so as we close this In Memoriam special on the stars of Casablanca, we do so with deep gratitude. Their performances offer not just entertainment, but a reminder of the enduring power of the human spirit. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. It really helps the channel grow and allows us to keep creating more content like this. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all of our future videos. And if you do, to quote Rick, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thank you for your support.